need a coffee. Oh, coffee. Good morning. Today's the day. Um, I'm fitting my solar panel. Um, seems like ages since I've recorded a video. Um, I've been partly because I've been had a bit of a nightmare with the solar panels, having to send some back and blah blah blah. But um, I wanted this video to purely be about um, fitting the solar panel to the roof and talk as little about ele actual electrics and wiring up as possible, just to keep that for a separate video. Um, and it's a bit of a rabbit hole, so I just wanted to keep the things separate. Um, so with that, the first thing I'm going to talk about is electrical systems. Um, because obviously, you, you, before you buy a solar panel, you need to work out how big a solar panel you need. Um, there's a couple of really good tools that I found online. Um, one with the Van Life Guide. Um, they have a solar panel calculator. So what you do is you essentially, you put in all of the appliances that you're going to have in your van, everything that's going to be using energy. Um, and you estimate how long per day you're going to be using that um, and what their wattage is. And it works out um, an estimated total watt hours. And then from that estimates the minimum size solar panel you should have. So when I did that, it estimated that I needed at least 260 watts uh, solar panel um, and it also recommends things like solar controllers and, and battery size and things like that um, also the lovely people at the climbing van they had a more simplified um, and basic one um, and it recommended sort of the same thing sort of between 300 to 60 so initially I bought um, two 175 watt solar panels from uh, Renergy um, I thought that would be more than enough and should cover me. Um, however, the issue is when they arrived, I couldn't actually fit them on the roof because I've got quite a short van and I've obviously got the two roof vents on there. It limits the space in between the two roof vents. Um, and we're literally talking like 10, 12 millimetres. Um, and the only way I was kind of going to be able to get them to fit was to sort of make something like a roof rack and elevate them slightly and it was just getting too messy. So in the end... I ended up sending them back um, and I found um, a panel on Craig Solar and it's just one panel and it's 260 watts and it fits the space perfectly. Um, so I was pretty, pretty happy about that, but that was a big old long process. Um, so, so yeah, um, I better get dressed. Hello, so here we are. This is the solar panel, 260 watt from Craig Solar. Um, I then bought this little bracket kit. It comes with four mounting brackets. I think I got it from Amazon in the end. Um, and it comes with some screws to fix it to the, um, to the roof, but they're self-tapping screws. So what I did was bought instead some Wellnuts What these do is when you tighten them, they squeeze. So it should make a nice seal around the hole to prevent any leaks. Um, and then I've just got some normal screws to go straight to there. Um, I then bought two four meter extension cables for the wires coming out of the solar panel. Um, four meters is I think a good, a good length because I think it's gonna come down the length of the wall. And then lastly, bought housing for the cables to go in, which I'll, which I'll just seal onto the top. Um, and then I'm gonna go over the rest of it with sealant. This is the cheapest stuff I could find, and I could see some people raving about it online. Um, so yeah, Pureflex, pretty cheap. Um, so yeah, I think that should be it. The first step is obviously for me to apply these brackets. So the first issue I have, although I'd like to have this on the roof lengthways, so the van sort of facing that way, um, because of the space I have to put it the other way so the van is running along this way so obviously the roof's got ridges in um, and the holes that they've provided are right over those ridges so to, to, to save from having to use like mastic tape and stuff I'm going to draw some new holes which should fit nicely in the divots in the roof
Right, so new holes are drilled. So it's just time to um, fix them down with the nuts and bolts provided. Simple as. Right, here we go, so you can see I've had to place it horizontally, unfortunately, so the brackets are the top and bottom. Um, so I'm just going to draw around them with a sharpie so I can mark them up, so I can then drill some, drill some holes. You want to go back? So I'm going to drill some holes here for the walnuts, um, and then I'll add some silicon, not some silicon, you know, some sealant, whatever it's called, around the outside. So I'm going to use a small one first, and then a 9.5 should be perfect for the walnuts. Okay, two holes, so the well nuts just go straight into there. So as I said before, I'm using these little well nuts. So basically they go in there and then when they're tightened, they squeeze either side of the hole and should make it nice and watertight. So they just slip straight in there. That's so. Genius. So next I'm going to apply some Pure Effects just around the outside and probably along here as well um, just to act as an adhesive as well as as well as screwing it down the only issue with this is I'm doing it on my own um, and I need to lift it into place in all four corners on my own so this might get a little bit messy but we'll see how it goes loosely for now just so I can make sure everything's in the right place so I'm just going to tighten up with the drill and then apply some more sealant solar panel fitted down so next I just need to put the housing in um, we should be done so from the inside so you can see how these well nuts work so as the bolt tightens these are squeezed up and should put pressure around the uh, around the seal lovely so I just need to decide where the housing is going to sit from the inside because obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna have my sort of all my battery and stuff down here and my control my solar controller and stuff so it would make sense to be as close as possible. So the solar panel comes up to to here. You can see where the brackets are. So I think if I plonk it just here the wires can obviously go along there, come through and then just straight down. Makes sense to it. Right, so I've placed my housing thing where I want it. I mean, 
ideally, it'd be nice if I could just have it that way, and then the wires just feed straight in. But um, I think it's probably a good idea to have this facing the front of the van, obviously because I'm going to be driving that way. So I'm just going to have to loop round and go straight in. Um, I've got my extension cables plugged in there. They just fix straight in. Um, and then I've got the naked end because I'm just going to, that's going to go straight into a solar controller. So I'm just going to draw around this with a sharpie. Um, and then circle where I want the hole to be. Then I'm just going to make that hole bigger so both wires can fit in. I've got a little rubber grommet. Look at that. Beauty. So there. So that's way more difficult than I expected. <laughs> but the wires are, are fed, fed through. So I'm just going to seal this down with some sealant. There we go. And then I'll just push those cables through a little bit more and tighten these up um, then I might get some actual um, cable clips just to keep them down so I'm waving about all the place but uh, yeah so again just from the inside um, and then I've wound it back up and stuck them up there because um, I'm gonna do the insulation and everything in here first before I then wire them up so yeah, that's that. Um, went a lot smoother than I thought it was going to go. Usually I end up um, messing stuff up. But um, yeah, just want to say thanks for watching. And um, I've also added, if you're interested about, um, want to know more about spending, I've added a my full spend so far and like tallied it all up um, and added links and stuff to all the stuff that I've bought. Um, so I've added a page for that on my website. Um, you can go ghcc.uk or greenhorncountryclub.co.uk, whatever you want, um, and there'll be a van spend page on there. Could put a link in the uh, description, couldn't I? I'll do that. But um, thanks for watching. See you soon.